Welcome and coming to you from inside an Apollo simulation capsule here at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. I'm Joseph Vick, your host, and we're going on an adventure. So I am set up, wait just a minute, Mission Control is telling me to do some of my checklist. That is checked off the list and we're ready to go. So looks like I'm about to make uh, a few uh, small steps for mankind, uh, a few giant leaps as well. So with this, notice I'm the only one in here, but for an Apollo historical mission, there would have been three astronauts inside the capsule. So if this were Apollo 11, we would have this capsule all set, and I would be one of these three astronauts, either Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, or Michael Collins, all exploring and making history for the first time to be the first humans to step foot on the surface of the moon. But on the meantime, they would be inside this capsule going together, joined with another part to make it a uh, command service module. Connected to it would be their lunar module that they would go and they would land on the surface of the moon inside. So this is one piece of many that it takes. And the piece that I am in now, this part, would be on the very top of the Saturn V rocket, just like the one that we have outside the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, and it would be at the very top. And that's where the astronauts would be upon launch, and that's where the astronauts would be coming back and splashing down into the Earth's ocean when they return. So, just like I'm doing a checklist, you may at home may have a checklist of things that you do, where your parents act, maybe your mission control objectives to do during the day. Wake up. Put on your pajamas, get dressed, brush your teeth. Now the astronauts had to do the same thing. And Mission Control in Houston was like their parents, telling them to brush their teeth or eat or do their things or eat their vegetables. So live like an astronaut, be an astronaut, and explore like an astronaut. Until next time, take care and remember, science never stops.